welcome to our weekly live video. I'm Lauren, our social and digital media manager, and this is Lena, our CEO. Hello, everyone. And we are here bringing you a super exciting giveaway and a Q&A today. So we had a lot of lovely customers submit questions to us, and we've gathered some of the most common ones, and Lena will be answering them today. So let's start off. Who designs the clothes in the adult baby? So um, everyone kind of has a hand in designing in our design department. We have myself, we have Emma, we have these lay our pattern maker, and then we have our production team, and then we also have Miss Eva who okay. helps with the fabrics and with the design process. So it takes a whole team to put together all the designs that you guys see. Pom poms do not make themselves. <laughs> yeah. So where are you located? So our business is headquartered out of Hollandale Beach, Florida, which is kind of like North Miami area. Yes, almost South Beach, but not quite. <laughs> uh, how do you produce in the USA? So we work with a lot of amazing small and big suppliers here in Miami, Florida, and we have an entire fabric room that holds all our fabrics for the season and even for the following season. And once our prototypes such as this sample are made, then our production manager will load all the fabrics and then go to the cutter who actually cuts all of the styles and then um, he picks up the readily cut styles and then drops them off at all the different suppliers who then sew them all together. Yeah, we produce everything locally and you know we're really into the idea of supporting other small businesses and other small factories and fabric sellers around Miami because it's a great industry. So what are your best selling items? Well, I think that since day one, jumpsuits have kind of been our specialty. You can probably agree with that. Um, we have a lot of really cool jumpsuit styles, the palazzos, the gathered at the bottom. We have some one shoulder. We have some cold shoulder. Yeah, we do the slits. We have really cute slits. So jumpsuits is really, I would say, our specialty. And uh, so why do some items take longer to ship or ship separately? So this is a tricky process and we definitely wanted to go into detail about this topic. Um, as most of you know, we've experienced a tremendous growth over the last year with definitely some growing pains and um, we are a smaller family owned business despite all of the following and, and all of our customers that we've acquired. So it's been a growing process. We recently um, got into business with a fulfillment center who we contracted to do all of our shipping and as much as we wanted it to be an extremely smooth process and we had hoped it would be, of course, in reality, <laughs> things never turn out as simple as you plan. So we have had some hiccups and some misunderstandings and some additional delays this season, but hopefully those will be getting worked out and have been worked out. So we work very hard every day in shipping the product. So just to go a little bit further into it, we have our U.S. production, which we make right here in in Florida, um, you know, within 30 minutes of our headquarters, and then we have some imported product, and we have some pre-order product that we also sell. So when a customer orders, let's say, a couple pieces of our in-stock goods, and then a pre-order mommy and me top, and an imported item, and then we pay a bulk shipping fee with the expectation of receiving it all together, it becomes a little complicated for our operation to be able to ship all of those things at once and in a timely manner. So then we always get in a position where we release product if it's ready, and um, and then we, we ship it as it comes in, and we really do our best to get things in as quickly as possible and get them out to our customers. Yeah, it ends up being you know a crazy headache sometimes because we have hundreds of variations of products, and there's just so much diversity in our line that it's hard for anybody to fulfill our orders, let alone if somebody from an outside business like the Fulfillment Center who's new to us and you know we're learning and growing together every day you know trying to perfect that like operation. a scenario we ran into recently which was a completely unexpected hiccup with the Fulfillment Center as an example we had a huge batch of product come in of people that had been ordering since February January uh, even or January even a style and there was there were people who had ordered it as recently as a week ago. So when the fulfillment center received a large batch of the goods, they their system randomly shipped customers without.
about picking the first customers that had purchased it in line to order. And it took us a good week and a half until the wrong customers had received the goods to understand where the problem came from, but now it's been understood and addressed, and this is where we run into specific shipping delays. Yeah, exactly. Like, things will go wrong, and like, the communication process is difficult, but we're trying every day, you know, we feel so bad when a single person, every single person, we feel really bad about every single mistake, but, you know, we're not perfect, nobody's perfect, but we're trying all the time. To and the learning curve is definitely getting better and easier, and we hope that you've seen that reflect in um, just feeding us the yes. which you receive the orders. Uh, we actually have a question. Um, Shara wants to know if we sell from the showroom or have a retail or if it's just based online. We don't actually. We sell everything online and we can be found on flash sale sites like Zulily. We can be on Facebook on, through our page and also on our online store. So we have a lot of points of sale, but our warehouse here is just HQ. We don't really have anybody shopping directly here. Unless we have a sample sale, we have a sample sale for local Next question, what is the hardest part of running business? I would say that as a smaller family owned business, it's just you have to wear many hats at any given moment, and there's just so much going on every day, and so many changes, and um, every person that works here is very essential to our team, and if there's an absence, for example, it's like a catastrophe to our entire <laughs> team, even if that person is absent for a day, and it gets a little overwhelming at times, keeping like a balance because there's only 24 hours in one day and there's only so much you can do and it's never ending. But it's so rewarding and fulfilling and I wouldn't ever do anything else. Yeah, we really are a family here. I mean, Lena is my older sister and uh, Emma, the designer, is our mom. So we're always ready to jump in and help and do what we need to do to get things done all together as a team. So what inspired you to start Me Bell Baby? So when my older daughter Mia was born, she was so cute, cuddly, and adorable that I just began to get all these ideas for designs. And at the time, there just wasn't a lot of product on the market. I mean, you have like the Gap, and then you have the local children's boutiques, and you have very mainstream things. And I just had a different eye for fashion, and I didn't see anything that I liked out there. So I just took the initiative to um, create it. And to make things that are affordable because you know you can find really beautiful children's clothes but you don't want to pay three hundred dollars for a piece that is going to be worn out by next year so we try to bring things that everyone can afford yeah and a uh, huge reason we're able to do that is because we basically bypass the middleman in the way that we run our business we are the designer and the manufacturer and we sell direct to consumer which allows us to skip the markup of selling wholesale to a children's boutique who would then mark it up one more step. So whatever you prices you get from us is skipping an entire process in the step. And we actually have some really special guests for you today. We have Mia herself and her little sister Olivia. Come girls. Yeah. We're so glad you got to stop by the studio today. This is Mia and this is Olivia and let's hear a little bit about who you are. Hi. My name is Mia Annabelle Viner, and I'm the inspiration for Mia Bell Baby, and I am turning 11 on April 4th, and I am so happy to be here today. I love acting, modeling, and dancing for my mother. And uh, what's your favorite Mia Bell Baby item, and why? My favorite Mia Bell Baby item is the jumpsuit that I'm wearing right now. Show us. And that has those cool slits on the leg. They're very cool retro wide leg. So they're comfortable and really cool. I'm wearing a size 10, 12 today. And um, I love this style because it's cute, colorful, and comfortable all in one. And how about you, Olivia? Tell us a little about yourself. Loud and proud, love, baby girl. Love gymnastics, and right? Gymnastics. Love gymnastics. And what is your favorite Mia Bell baby item? Show them your bossy dress. This dress? 
She's the inspiration for our leadership. Yeah, she's skills. definitely been the inspiration behind the entire Sassy line that's become so popular in our <laughs> brand. Anything you see with Miss Sass, I'm not bossy. I have leadership skills. We just released a new style <laughs> yesterday um, that was the fearless, fearless girl. girl. We, we were inspired by the statue in Manhattan, and um, we did a new release about fearless girls. So all of those sassy styles are inspired by Miss Olivia because she's definitely the sassiest she, member of ours. This is her first time being quiet. she's the boss of the house. <laughs> yes. The leader the of the house. Yes, for sure. Thank you for joining Thanks us, girls. For Bye today, girls. Have a nice weekend. So that's the end of our Q&A and we're doing an extra special flash sale today for 24 hours only. Mia's jumpsuit is going to be for sale on our jumpsuit, for sale on our website, marked down to $24.99 from almost $40. So it's almost half off, which is an incredible deal. And it's the most unique and gorgeous, you know, fabric. There's not very many of them. So we recommend that you grab it up if you're interested. And we're also giving away one of those jumpsuits to a lucky winner. So if you want to enter to win, comment and tag four friends in the comment for a chance to win. We'll announce by tomorrow. Also, by we've provided links. So this is from our women. I'm wearing a top from our women's line today. Lauren is wearing a dress. This dress I can stand up and show. Well. Um, and we've provided links to those as well. Could be a tunic for others. I'm 5'3", so if you're taller than me, it might be a tunic. <laughs> but yes, this dress, everything is up on our online store for you guys. And our I'm Not Bossy dress is actually being sold as a tank right now for spring and summer. With fringe. Olivia's wearing the long sleeve <laughs> version, but you know every season we bring out a different iteration of it because it's one of our most popular. Um, do we have any other questions?